In other news now, the U.S., Qatar and Egypt have called on Israel and Hamas to resume talks in order to finalize a Gaza ceasefire and hostage release deal. In a joint statement, the three countries urge Israel and Hamas to resume urgent discussions on August 15th in Doha or in Cairo. The leaders of the three countries have also offered uh, to present a final bridging proposal to resolve the remaining issues. Now, the statement read, there is no further time to waste for uh, from uh, any party for any further delay, three of, of U.S. and our teams have worked tirelessly over many months to forge a framework agreement that is now on the table with only the details of implementation left to conclude. It is time to release all the hostages, begin the ceasefire and implement this agreement. Now, responding to the offer, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's office said that Israel will dispatch a delegation to attend the negotiations and will travel wherever the meet takes place to finalize the details for implementing the framework agreement. Hamas is yet to respond to the proposal. The announcement of talks comes after Hamas named Yahya Sinwar as its new chief. Meanwhile, the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin spoke with the Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant and discussed the steps that Washington has taken in West Asia to defend Israel and a Gaza ceasefire. Further outlining the arrival of the U.S. F-22 Raptors that will not only defend Israel but also protect U.S. forces in the region. On the ground in Gaza, Israeli forces stepped up airstrikes across the Gaza Strip. It struck two schools housing displaced people in Gaza, killing at least 15 and injuring 30. However, the Israeli military says that it struck Hamas command and control centers and has accused Hamas of exploiting civilians and civilian properties for military purpose. Meanwhile, thousands of Palestinians in eastern Khan Yunus were forced to flee after the Israeli military ordered another mass evacuation. The order covered large areas in and around Khan Yunus, which is Gaza's largest city. I have been displaced from Bain Sahela about six times. Now I have only my kids with me, nothing else. The house is gone, everything is gone, nothing is left. We have no one but God, which is better than everything. The Israeli army has also released uh, footage of what it said were, were airstrikes on Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. The IDF said in a statement that they struck a launcher, a militant squad and military buildings in southern Lebanon that belonged to Hezbollah. This comes a day after Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah pledged strong and effective response to the killing of Hezbollah military commander Fouad Shukr, emphasizing that Hezbollah would act alone or with its regional allies. On the other hand, Yemen's Houthis uh, said that they will coordinate with other members of the Axis of Resistance in any joint operation, further outlining that any dis decision to respond to Israeli attacks would be made by the Axis as a whole. Our operations towards the occupied Palestine to target the Israeli enemy, our operations in the seas, the inevitable and upcoming response operation as well as the coordination with the Axis in any joint operations. The decision to respond is a decision by everyone at the level of the entire Axis and at the level of each front individually. Meanwhile, in the interview uh, to Time magazine, the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, Netanyahu apologized for the Israeli security failures that allowed the Hamas-led invasion on October 7th last year and further said that his own role in the security failures should be investigated following the end of the war. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.